Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. And a couple of years ago, I don't know if anyone knows this, but Obama came up with Myra, my retirement account. Now, it mirrors a Roth IRA, IRA, individual retirement account. It has the same rules a Roth IRA has. That means if you're under 50, you can contribute up to $5,500 a year, and that is the cap. And if you're over 50, you can contribute up to $6,500 a year as the so-called catch-up price. Now, Myra, that's what I'll be calling through this whole freaking video is Myra. Once again, it's my retirement account. This was sponsored by the United States Department of Treasurer and actually administered by Comerica. Comerica, C-O-M-E-R-I-C-A. Now, who did he actually make this for? He made this for regular Americans who do not have access to a 401k plan. Some of you are working these jobs and you guys have no access to any sort of retirement plan or 401k plan. This is for you. Now, you can set this up through your payroll check, your checkings or savings, direct deposit, and also you can contribute through it through your tax return, okay, automatically and also automatically through your business or organization. Now, if you change jobs, which a lot of us do from time to time, this account actually stays with you. So no issues there. So here are the really golden nuggets, which I actually like about this plan. Now, it doesn't earn that much, and I'll get to that. But here are the golden nuggets. Now, you can withdraw money from the Myra account that you actually put in the account without any penalties, fees, or taxes. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, it's backed by the United States Treasury, which is always a good thing. That's where all the money is anyway. Or is it backed by gold? Or China has, I don't know. But listen, now the account earns on average 2.23% a year. Now, some of you are saying, wow, that's well under 5%. But don't forget, guys, the government is not going to let this thing fail and you're earning money regardless. You can have this as well as other accounts that I put out on the channel for you guys to save and invest. This is just another tool, especially if your business doesn't offer anything or maybe you're an entrepreneur. It costs nothing for you to open, and once again, it has no fees. You choose the amount that you actually put in your account, whether it be 25 a month, 50, 100, 200, so on and so forth. Now, here's the big kicker. Once your account reaches $15,000, you have to roll it into a private sector Roth IRA, or I guess you're just going to take your money out, but don't forget this is for your retirement. So you actually want to roll it over into a private sector Roth IRA to continue those savings, to continue that percentage building on your money. Now, this Myra account is mainly for people, individuals, if you're single, who make less than $129,000 or couples who earn less than $191,000. Now, if you make over that as an individual or as a couple, then you may not be eligible to apply for a Myra account. Now, once again, there's a $15,000 limit or ceiling or cap, however you want to look at it, that you can put into your Myra account. And once you reach that threshold, you must transfer it out into a private sector Roth IRA account in order to keep your savings going. Now, to answer your question, because I know you're thinking about it, can you reopen another account and start all over again? No, you cannot. So this is another tool in your toolbox to help you to save for your retirement and your future, especially if you're an entrepreneur or your employer does not offer you any sort of retirement plan, 401k, 403b. This is a viable option and is actually backed by the United States Treasurer. This is Ross World. When my money makes money, you should actually look into it. I have the link in the description. I'm out.